Hello everyone, this is Deepak Bari and welcome to this video. In this video we will talk about clock rate and Cisco packet tracer. So let's get started. Open up the Cisco packet tracer software. So this is our Cisco packet tracer software and uh, we will take two routers, two switches and uh, two end devices and we will connect them up so in my case I am using the 2911 series router so take two routers and in case of switch I am using the 2960 switch let's take end devices So whenever we connecting the routers to routers then it needed to have a serial cable and in that case we also need to apply some clock rate into a router so in which router we have to apply those clock rates so this is the question here so that is very simple and we can identify here visually by using a clock symbol and we can also will see the command to know which serial port has to give the clock rate so first let's add the port so use the hwic 2 t and turn on this router same for this one hwic 2 t and turn on this router again so right now there is uh, no cabling here so and there is no clock symbol here also and we will what we will do here generally just connect them up and uh, do the static route so I am not gonna go to the details about the static routing because we already know about this so if you don't know about the static routing so there is a link in my description you can follow along those tutorials also now let's connect with the devices so there is a command named the show controller so let's see this go to the CLI tab of router and uh, this is our CLI tab so click here no and enable now give the show command here after giving the show command you can give the question mark here and press this space for getting the more information about the available possible commands so we are gonna using this controllers command here just give the show controller and about the serial we have the serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 And as you can see the hardware is power, QUIC etc and uh, no serial cable is attached. That means until we attached a serial cable to it so we can define whether the router is DC or DT. So generally we give the clock rate in DC devices and DT devices just received it just like uh, receiver. So let's connect this router with a serial cable. So just go to the cabling options here and use this real DC cable here. So in this time I'm using the router 0 as a DC device. So just connect with it 0 0 slash 0 slash 0. And in the other hand of the router 1, it should be connect like 0 0 slash 0 slash 1. Now as you can see we have the clock symbol on the router 0 but we don't have the clock symbol here in the router 1 so we can visually see here the clock symbol so we have to give the clock rate inside this device and let's use that command again show controllers and the port in which we wanna just identify if it needs the clock rate or not so just hit on the enter command and now we do have the DECE 
this port and the clock rate it's already assigned here that is I think 2 million yeah so we have to manually assign this clock rate here and the port state is by default is down so we have to change the port state also so let's do it quickly now let's cable these devices also just hold down the control key and select this copper straight through cable and connect with like this remember we are using the gigabit ethernet port here for connecting the router to switch okay this completed and uh, let's take a note for this network suppose this one is like 192.168 uh, this should be like 20.1 and we are making just a simple network here a class C network it should be 20.2 and slash 24 let's take a note here also this should be 10 network and this part will get the 30 network Taking a note is a good habit in while making a scenario in Cisco packet traces so you can remember everything and uh, it doesn't just assign into this device so we have to assign it manually here so let's open this PC and uh, IP configuration so keep the IP address here like 192.168.10.2 and subnet mask leave it by default and the default gateway should be 192.168 and 10.1 now open another PC give the IP address here 192.168.30.2 and the default gateway should be the 30.1 now close this one again and let's make this is static routing here so first we have to go into the configure terminal and uh, select this serial interface interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and we can make this port state to up by using this command no shut down and we are now give this IP address here 192.168.20.1 and the class C default subnet mask and we have to give the clock rate here so give the clock rate and in the question mark here for getting the available clock rates here so we are going to use the 7200 clock rate here so 7200 that means you can send the 72 kilobytes data from this interface and uh, beyond that you can't send so it also a uh, limit of this bandwidth just hit down the enter key and do the rest of command just exit from this mode and select the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 by using this command serial excuse me gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and this will get the IP address of 10.1 and class C default submit mask and no shutdown here too for making this port state to up ok now exit from here and here and save the, your configuration to nvram show running config to the startup config
Now let's open to the another router and make a configuration here. Enable configure terminal and interface serial zero slash zero slash one. Give the no shutdown command and uh, IP address it should be 192 168 and 20.2 and the default subnet mask of plus C and finally okay we have already give the no shutdown command here so we don't need to give again here now let's select the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 by using this command again interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and give the IP address to this port 192.168.30.1 and class C default submit mask change the port state to up and exit from here exit from here and copy running config to the startup config okay so IP addressing has been completed and we already assigned the clock rate on router 0 so now let's give the command here for static routing which was IP root and the destination network destination submit mask and the next hop IP address but for that we have to go into the global configuration mode okay now give this command IP road so we have to first select this 20 network so keep the network address here 192.168.20.0 remember we are giving the network address not the port address here so don't be confused and uh, next type IP address here is 192.168.20.2 and give the another command here in this time we will use the 30 network here 30 .0, 255.255.255.0 .255 and the next type IP address would be the same down the into key and exit from this mode and copy running config to the start config now let's open this router CLI and configure the static routing here configure terminal and IP route 192.168.20.0 and the submit mask of 20 network and give the next hop IP address for this router this next hop IP address would be 20.1 and IP root 192.168 excuse me dot 10.0 and the submit mask for this network we are using the this port for the next top IP address so let's give this one 192.168.20.1 okay, hit down exit and copy running config to the startup config Now close this window and uh, we need to open the command prompt here. So first let's ping to our the default gateway IP address here. Ping 192.168.10.1 and we are getting the reply from our default gateway. Now let's solve. to the 
our next hub IP address here 192.168.20.2 and we are getting reply from here also now finally we will test with another network IP address here which is 192.168.30.2 which is this PC and it take time first time because of the R as we have already discussed about the R now let's check it again so it won't lose a packet here 192.168.30.2 and every packet we are getting here now let's close this window and this window too let's open this command prompt here ping 192 168 and 10.1 we are getting the reply from 10.1 and 10.2 also the clock symbol tells us which interface has to be given a clock rate so let's check again that command show controllers serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and this has to be a clock rate and we have changed the clock rate here by manually by default which was 2 million and right now it's 72,000 and if we enter the same command in this device so let's see what else we can do here enable show controllers serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 as you can see this port is detected as DDE terminal and TX and RX clocks detected because this device transmits the 72 kilo frequency to this device and we can also use the PDUs here and we got the success message let's try this one and we got this message again so hope you understand the clock rate and uh, we have also have been looked about the static routing here for demonstrating the clock rate here so that's all for this video I hope you understand this one so if you have got any kind of confusion so you can just write down in the below comment and uh, for the static plotting so you can follow along the following tutorial inside the description so thanks for watching this video guys and guys see you on the next video